We want everybody to just sit and really listen to Dad. You know, we did this, I think, two or three times before, four or five times. But we never got a chance to really sit down and talk to him. And everybody, especially the grandkids, young kids, need to hear some of the stuff that he's been through in his life and what him and mom did. And, and uh, really, spend, this is family time. Okay, it's not just eat, have a birthday, you know, eat, go run our ways, and this and that. But we can really sit down and talk, talk to each other, and listen to Dad tell some of his history. I mean, because sometimes I go over and sit down and talk with him, it blows my mind what he tells me about. It. He went through, you know, in 29 and all those years, and when the depression, and him and Mom got together, and you know, and the kids they had and the kids they lost. You know, all that stuff. Mm. So we thought that would be good. So uh, just, uh, we're going to, we going to pray now. We're just going to pray and then we're going to let Dad do some talk. How's that? Okay? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Father God, we thank you, Lord, for this day. We thank you for this family. We appreciate God, your hand on us. You've kept each and every one. You've kept us on our traveling. you kept us, Father God during the week, during this day, as many dangers are around us, you know, we never think about not just the good things you do, but the things that you keep from happening to us. Some of us shouldn't be here. Some of us should be dead. Some of us should be crazy. Some of us should be whatever. But you've kept us, and we thank you for that. We thank you for family. And Father God, we just pray your blessings on this time together. We ask that the Holy Spirit, you would come in and touch the lives of each and every one. Help us, Father God, to grow together. These are truly the last days. And though we see each other today, we might not see each other again mm -hmm. because we don't know what tomorrow is promised. And Father, we just thank you right now. We pray your Lord, blessings Lord. over there. We pray your blessings yes. over everyone here. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Jim. This is kind of a whole family. It's old. I'm about the old man here. About the well, I don't know where to start at, but I had some good days and I had some bad ones. But from the time um, I was born and. May 27, 1919. Wow. And uh, my dad brought us up here to, when I was about four years old, up here at Van Dusen. Y'all know what Bat said. The ditch out here from Van Dusen, up there about a half a mile there. We stayed there in 1923. And then in, in 24. In 1925, we moved up there to south of Oran. And I started school up there, just about two or three miles out of Oran going south. And there used to be a school set there that uh, we lived across the road, we had the school across the ditch. And my mother used to sit there and watch me wrestle and tussle with other boys. And I was about, about six years old then. That was 1925, 26. In 1927, we moved, my dad did, I didn't move. Moved up there north of Oran. 1927, that's when uh, one of my brothers was born up there, JB. He was born up there in 1927. We stayed up there in 27. And uh, 28, I went to school up there at Oran. We had a little one room room building mm -hmm. up there in the woods. And uh, that was 1927 and 28. And uh, we moved from there to a place they called Pop City, 29 and 30. Now we're talking about good time, hard time now. But this is my dad was a very good provider. Very good. And he 
29.30, time was time. You, my dad used to go out and uh, cane break down, that he called a uh, pistol farm, down that regular cane break, thick. Go out there and take a shotgun, made about two or three shots, blackberries. We had to sit up now all night, most of the night, pick blackberries, and that was our meat. Mm -hmm. And that was 29 and 30. And we shipped in 31, 32, 3 up here. Not too far, we won't live in there now, up there on the side of the highway. I went to school over there, it's a little old place now they call uh, Ponderosa. Mm -hmm. I graduated over there in 1935. Yeah. Well, my dad wanted to send me to college, which I want to go to. I, I finished high school, you know, not high grade school. But I had to go buy my own book school to other school to go from, from 19 and 12th grade. But my dad wasn't able to buy to buy books. So I messed around then, messed around then, didn't do nothing for myself. I kept running around like all you boys do, and I run into a lady by the name of Annie Mae Wiley. And this is his children's mother. Mm. That was, that was 1937. We met in uh, October the 17th, 1937. And I was 17 years old, and she was 19. And we stayed with my mother from October to over in the spring, and we moved out to ourselves. That was 38, and we moved out there to no, a bottler, 1938. We lived to ourselves. And from then on, I took care of Paul. Best I know how. And the reason I married her then, 17 years old, because she got pregnant. About me, I guess. And the baby had Leo would have been born. He'd have been 78 years old. This last February. He'd have been 78 years old. That was our first child we lost. All right, we rocked on in, rocked on in. She yeah, I didn't lost it. Right? We got lost it. And let me forget my years now. In 40, 45, we moved down in the place where we put a guy called Brother Richard. We stayed down there in 45. Yeah, 46. Give me a little time. Then we finally moved to 748. 45. Wait a minute now. Yeah, I stayed down there. 45 we did. Me and her stayed in a little one-room house. Well, it was two rooms. Nice house. We stayed in the front chair and they had, on the back there they had, you know, to put another room to. And my wife said she won't tell me one day. She always called me Dave. She said, Dave, it's winter time now. She said, it's snow. She said, I want me some ice cream. I said, we ain't snow enough out there to get no ice cream. Where you get ice cream at? So I went in the back room now, when they put together, they, they had a strip right there to get snow right there. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Got nothing to make up some ice cream. <laughs> what kind of house we did in 1945. Yeah, and it went on late on then, uh, 46, 7, 8. I went out for myself. I bought, uh, uh, bought me a team of mules. And uh, we followed them, and I well, bought four mules, me and my dad. And then we went back together then. And after that, I bought a brand new tractor. I bought a John Deere tractor. 
We moved over there about a year ago, way up in the hills up there. And I wish they were in 50 something. Then I didn't make enough money to pay my tractor and everything, also. He we sold, we, you know, mm. sold a lot of money, man. But I didn't pay for it. And let me jump on up here for that. 55 to here. I'm over another, I tell Wait for the man that uh, about 16, 17 years. Then I moved down there to where uh, I just moved from up here. Worked down there for a long time from a guy. And uh, 38. We had another rough time. I jumped some. Yeah, he. We found with a the guy there when I did, uh, but that was Keefer. My mother told me, he said, Don't you move with that man down there. So that man didn't whoop his guys on his place. I said, That's where I want to go. I want to go where they whoop them. <laughs> I moved down in 38 and just hoping he would make a mistake. But I come on up, I got it so many, I got it. I wasn't expecting this, I can tell you, you know, I'm telling the truth. See, I'm missing something the other day. Uh, uh, I'm, you know. So, after me and my wife married, I'm jumping on us now, we were. Uh, Married 37, October the 17th. And we stayed together. We had an anniversary back in 87. 50 year anniversary. Mm -hmm. right. I got some of the pieces now. And, and after that, she died in 90. Yeah, she died in 90. So these boys, say, I don't know what day they come here, but one of them is in, one of them is in two lines, other knees line, or something, one of them up. <laughs> <laughs> I went to, that was a good July. Yeah, all right. One of them June, he lies, or something, you know. So I can't keep up with them. But I have a, I got two boys here, three girls up here, and she's been with me since 45. <laughs> but it's, you know, I had good times. I ain't do good. <laughs> I had good times and I had some bad times. But I struggle. I love my wife. Now, I don't think I should, but I still love my wife. Yeah. We stayed together 52 years, nine months, and one day. Wow. <clears throat> That's something about this case That's right. That's right. So I've been with her now for 20, 23 years. Oh, yeah. Did my own bacon a couple of years ago. Took my own beans and cornbread. <laughs> Everybody right. 